three-dimensional geometry. Question number one. The figure below PQRST is a rate pyramid with the base PQ is equal to eight centimeters, QR is equal to six centimeters, PT is equal to QT is equal to RT is equal to ST is equal to thirteen centimeters. J and K are midpoints of QT and RT respectively. Determine a the height the pyramid. So before we go to the part B of the question, let us first solve part A of the question. The height of the pyramid. So I'm going to zoom this on so that we can have a close view of these. So we are given that um, all these slant heights, this one is a right pyramid, right pyramid has all the slanting heights equal and therefore all these slanting heights, uh, the measurement is 13, 13, 13, then PQ is equals to 8 and so on. So for us to get the height of the pyramid, the height of the pyramid will run from the vertex which is a point T to the center of that rectangle below there so position it somewhere there and uh, to make this one easier we can draw another diagonal running from uh, p all the way to r and that one is the diagonal so what we need to get is these uh, we can call this point o and this one will meet the diagonal at right angle so now to get the vertical height, the vertical height, the vertical height of the pyramid will be T O. Now to get T O is a triangle that you're going to extract in order to get that. And the triangle that you're going to extract is triangle T P O T P O. So this is how it would be. So the triangle will be like this. So T is there, then O is there, then P is there. So this is the T that you're looking for. Uh, TP is 13 centimeters. And um, PO, look at PO. PO lies on that diagonal. So we know very well that the base is rectangular in shape. So all these angles are 90 degrees. These angles are 90 degrees. So if we use this triangle that is here, this triangle that is uh, PQR, look at triangle PQR, the one that I've shaded, that one is a right angle triangle, and PR, PR will be obtained by using Pythagoras theorem, and that one will be given by 8 squared plus 6 squared, get yeah, the square root of everything. So this is how we get, considering triangle P. QR. That one is a right angle triangle. Measurements 8 and 6. So PR is the diagonal. And that is the hypotenuse. So this will give the root of 100. And therefore PR will be 10 centimeters. Now PR is the whole diagonal. But PO, PO will be a half of PR. So automatically a half of PR PR being 10, so that one will be 5 centimeters. So this would be 5, and this one would be 5. So therefore, PO is equal to 5. So this will enable us to get the perpendicular height or the vertical height of the pyramid. So now using this triangle here, which is a right angle at O, we can use Pythagoras theorem. PT is the hypotenuse, then PO is the base. So TO will be given by 13 squared minus 5 squared and this one will give 169 that is 13 squared subtract 25 and this will give uh, the square root of 169 subtract 125 this will give 144 getting the square root of this you get this will be 12 centimeters therefore the vertical height of that pyramid is 12 centimeters